I know you have seen the title, I know you have, um, <laughs> that's probably why you clicked on this. Completely embarrassing. This is just totally embarrassing. I can't believe that in this day and age, when people are supposed to be advancing everything, technology is advancing, medical, the medical industry is advancing, the uh, um, uh, financial industry is advancing, but the human capital, especially among black people, they're not advancing. Maybe one or two of them. You could put a hundred black people together and maybe out of those, three percent are advancing but the rest of them are just all over the place. You cannot leave a city like Chicago, one of the best cities in the United States years, 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 years back. You cannot leave it to people who are lukewarm to leave that city. They've put lukewarm leaders and the masses are just walking all over them. I'm sorry to say that. Listen to what this lady is saying. And she's also black, crying in a whole Walmart that has been losing money in the black neighborhood. Every grocery store looks like this. Everything is either on the floor. Look at this. Can't even get no fucking food for my kids, G. Look at this. Came in the store to try to buy something because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal, and black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. Look at this. But we, we, we this, this is what we're fighting for. This is honoring George Floyd. People who already couldn't feed their kids, now they really can't feed their kids. Look at this. I am so devastated right now. I am so devastated right now, G. This is not okay. For us to have to live like this, we do stupid shit like this all the time. And we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood and fucked up your shit. I'm not a thief. I'm not coming in this store and stealing nothing. And ain't nobody gonna turn me into no animal or make me feel like a thief. Y'all let them white folks send y'all off once again. Look at all this shit on the floor. Look at all this on the floor. Everything. Everything's on the floor. Tissue. We couldn't even find tissue less than two months ago, and now it's on the floor. Look at it. Meanwhile, we got plenty of fruits and vegetables. I'm not finna pick through this shit. Look at what. Look at. Look at what the down in Chicago, Walmart in Chicago, and Walmart is pulling out of there because of stuff like this. It's a shame, it's a shame. Black people are supposed to be doing better than what they say they are. But I'm embarrassed and ashamed for being black or having a black melanin. This is just shameful, totally shameful. People, and then somebody will come and cry for reparations. That is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Black people asking for reparations. It is the worst and stupidest thing I've ever heard. Your own neighborhood. You destroy your own neighborhood because you want to say something. You destroy your stuff? Well, sorry. The businesses will close down, and guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna finally get on a bus, or get an Uber, or get in your car, or, or, or walk, or trek, or walk all the way to where a better store is to shop. And guess what's gonna happen when you go over there? You're gonna have people watching you so that you don't become a nuisance. Because even in your own house, you are a nuisance. I'm sorry to say that. I just I'm horrible. It's just horrible. Gosh.